akurat spička Dinamo. Eva Outdoor Classics is the world's leading exhibition for hunting and firearm industry. There is a wide variety of exhibitors from all over the world showing their products that range from guns, ammunition, cutlery, accessories, clothing and all sorts of outdoors equipment. What's special this year is that there is a growing interest of US companies for the European gun market. This also brings some of the biggest US content creators to the show and the visitors absolutely love it. The legendary VZ-58. This is far from any new design, but it's a really good solid rifle. And what I love about the Czech small arms, they are putting these rifles on civilian market, but they also have more modern designs with optic rails. They have it in 5.56 caliber, maybe even coming in 300 blackout. They're modernizing the rifles. They also have the different versions of the VZ-61. A lot of cool stuff from them. And again, what I like the most about them is they are catering to civilian market. So it's not like, oh, military police. They are selling to civilians and we should support this. I was really excited about this until I found out that it's airsoft. This is the new Glock handgun, the, wait, the 17? No, that, that's the old one. Is this the new one, the 45? No, it's nine millimeter. Uh, yes. No, this is the new one, the new Glock handgun. Really cool, awesome design, love it. So we were rushing to another booth and we almost missed this. It's a really cool ball pop design of a bolt action rifle. The same modular chassis can be scaled from 50 BNG to down to 223 Remington. You have to change the bolt head and the extractors, of course the barrel, but you can adapt the same receiver. This one right now is chambered in 328. So this is probably the longest barrel that you can fit into a bullpup rifle with the magazine as far backwards. Because as you can see, it doesn't use a normal bolt. It has a very proprietary design and you don't need a whole length behind it. So the barrel is up to here. It's ambidextrous. And with this small lever over here, you can change the ejection from left to right side, just on the fly. Just change the lever, it works like this. This is still a prototype because I think they are refining some of the things and I think they're searching for a manufacturer, but I'm really, really excited because this is something that's new. It's not just rebranded or the same design reused again. And here is also a new chest rig, the Rocky chest rig. So as you can see, you can put up to six magazines inside. Uh, you have these speed pouches right here and four uh, pouches with flaps. Uh, but also you can remove these flaps and we provide you a shock cord and puller so you can make all of these uh, pouches, uh, quick pouches. This is a separate product. Uh, this is a um, Guardian chest panel. 
So you can attach it to any of our chest rig here on the straps and put the admin pouch like you can see on the mannequin on the side. Here inside you have this uh, bright material so you can see everything inside with no problem. Uh, and you can also make it completely flat. And in, the, in the, this piece you have a foam so you can stand on it and change your boots or trousers if you want, on, on the ranch for example. Is it big enough to carry a body? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but you are too, too big for it. You know the Mintech performance trigger for the AR? Well, now they have one for the AK. Now, this is still a prototype, but the same logic applies. Very short reset, very short travel, lightning fast. The new PRS line of uh, rifles from CZ, they're based on CZ 600 uh, chassis. The receiver is steel. It has uh, the rail machine directly to it, so no play here. They cooperated with MDT, so the chassis is from MDT. They come in two different versions. This one is a bit cheaper. This one is a bit more expensive, but it has more features. The fully adjustable stock, the fully adjustable straight grip. The safety is in position here. So when you hold the rifle, you have your natural thumb position. Like this, it's fire. Like this, it's safe. The barrels are 24 inches. Right now, they come in 308 and 6 Creedmoor. Uh, this version comes with their muzzle brake and it uses ACIS mags with their custom follower, which they guarantee that it's 100% reliable. Even if you load it up, you're empty and you just load one round, you chuck it in and it will load. The accuracy guarantee is 0.75 MOA or better. Revo Arms, what caught my eye was that very low bore axis. You can get your hand very high up. I like the grip angle and the trigger is amazing, especially for a striker fire gun. A lot of cool stuff for Holosun again. What I'm holding right now is a combination of red dot and a thermal sight. Essentially, this works as a normal red dot, but you also have a thermal sight and a visible light if you need it. So this is cool because with this sight, you can see in the dark, in complete darkness, as long as you have some kind of heat signature. So essentially, you can spot living things in complete darkness. Even more so, we found out that behind very thin materials like uh, curtains or very thin wood, you can see the heat signature behind it, which is amazing. Of course, this is just a prototype. It still has a long way to go, but how they envisioned this is that this thermal unit will be connected to the red dot wirelessly and you can superimpose the image a full thermal image or just an outline and you can aim through it. If the battery dies, you can just use it as a normal red dot so it has a backup. Really cool stuff. Another product that I'm excited about is a new tactical light with 1000 lumens and 80,000 candela. Now this is not the complete finished version yet, but it will come with essentially all that you see here, a standard crane connector so you can put your favorite switch on it. But this one is also quite good. The only thing that I would change about it is that clicky feature where the light goes constant on. Personally, I prefer just momentary switch, so I don't accidentally put it on and then forget about it. But it has a super focused beam, very powerful, and the guys are actually telling me that they will have different heads that you could change from normal white light to IR, which is also a very nice feature. So this is the LE420 laser designator, which also has a white light and a visible laser, also IR laser and illuminator. Not a new product, but something that I find interesting is that they have an option where you can mount your red dot directly on this unit. And if it's zeroed, it stays zeroed. It kind of makes sense if you have a PDW or a short barreled rifle. In this orientation, you don't lose space on the optics rail. Just the only thing is that you cannot use your thumb over bore because it will block the laser. But I think this is a very cool idea that I didn't know existed. 
And this is the new laser designator. It has a visible green laser and IR laser, which uses the V-cell technology. And what's cool about it that you can actually zoom out or in, so you can make a wider or tighter beam. So essentially you can use it as a laser or as an illuminator. Really cool, small form factor. And what I also like about it, they didn't put a white light on this because I don't see a value in that. So it's just a laser designator, really cool. And of course, a lot of other products that we already have on the market, but I feel like they are pushing the development of optics on civilian market, especially with enclosed emitters like the EPS and now also the EPS carry, which I really like. So I think this is the right direction to go in enclosed emitters that are submersible and they are not, they're impervious to, to dirt, to debris, nothing can clog the emitter. And these are really built to a very high standard. They can take a lot of abuse and they are kind of like set and forget optic. I put it on my gun and it will always work. So I love to see this. Two things that I almost missed. This is the PIDK, so it's a smaller version of their gun-mounted flashlight. And the SCS Carry, which uses the K footprint, and also it is enclosed emitter. This is the way to go. This one also uses the internal battery that is actually charging from the solar cells, and you don't have to replace it. It's always on, and just normal light like this from the lights is enough to charge it. So even if you store it for a whole year in your safe, and then you need it, it will still be on. Really, really cool. Oh, so, and this is the new magazine from Magpul. Translucent one, the T-Mag. Nice. This is something that I love to see. More and more Slovenian companies here at IWA and in this industry. Jean Projectiles, we know these guys. They started as uh, high precision slugs for air rifles and air pistols, but now they're also moving in high precision bullets for real firearms. We're here at the Leapers booth. You probably know them by the UTG brand. And actually my first quad AK rail was from UTG. Maybe 12 years back, it was the first accessory that I could get for my uh, Zastava Yugo AK. What's different is that way back then, their rail was made in China probably. Now they made a completely new line of accessories. A lot of them are made in the USA, so the UTG Pro line. And they have really, really cool stuff like the side rails for AKs, butt stocks proper M-lock handguards for an AK. For example, this would be a modern version. So no rails, only M-lock, very light, slim, and you can attach anything you want on it. Even more so, they have uh, AR handguards and they have a really cool thing, a chassis for the MP5 system. So what this does, it modernizes the old design, it attaches through the claw mount, it gives you a flat top rail, and with a monolithic design, the handguard and the flat top are all zeroed, so you can attach lasers, aiming devices also here, and it will retain zero. What I especially like about this is that it attaches with four screws. You don't have to remove it to disassemble the weapon. It's very low on the receiver, and there are no sharp edges, so you can reload without cutting yourself. It doesn't matter if it's their UTG Pro line made in the US or their normal line of products made in Taiwan. The new designs and quality is really top notch and something to check out. From the sea of night vision devices and thermals, I'm the most impressed by the Inray, the Jerry 14 and the Jerry 31. These are Chinese made analog night visions, so proper night vision. They have white phosphorus, Gen 2 Plus, and not just the crazy low price, but the quality is there. The devices are super small, they are super light, and sure, we cannot test them properly here in this lighted area, but the quality of the lens is superb. So this is something that we will immediately stock in our store.
So we're here at the show and we'll just ask some random uh, attendee here. What does he think about the German gun laws? Oh, the German gun laws suck. How do you like uh, the show? I don't know. It's, uh, it's good, but I don't think the Germans can own much of this stuff, can they? Probably not. Are you not from around here? Uh, no, I'm from Germany. I, I can't tell by the accent. Sure, sure. Yeah, I... I... <laughs> Right here, I have the brand new ultralight. It features a new profile, bevel profile, a new slide design. Uh, our trusted and true that everyone loves modular trigger, modular trigger, and a new compact grip module with aggressive texture. All the small parts are black, and we also include the CCW oriented mag roll. This is the perfect pistol for someone who wants to carry a full size gun who can do it all conceal, defend, and even compete. It has a full size grip four and a quarter uh, match grade bull barrel. This year we're doing flush and crown barrels. That was a big request by everyone, so we delivered. This is the brand new BAO, which stands for Bull Armory Optics. It is padded pending. So what we have here is a stabilizing post that takes the mechanical load off of the screws. And this also allows us to cut the slide very low, so we have the optic mounted as low as possible. And we are using a very thin aluminum plates and you have multiple footprints. So RMR, Delta Point Pro, RTS2, Holostan K, RMSC, depending on the model, you're getting all of the plates included with the gun. And we're also working on some cool riser that will be released later down the year for rifles, PBDWs, 45 degrees. The sky is the limit with this system optic. A sniper rifle from Tanfolio, which they are more known for their competition style handguns. What's interesting here is that it's a variation of a straight pullback bolt action. So directly back, directly forward, nice trigger. It's actually a very smooth action, but the whole thing is quite heavy and um, quite expensive. I see you have something special here. We have something very new and that is the Novridge AK-74, SSR-74, how we call it. I want you to do one thing. Yeah. Take it like this and try to twist it and tell me what you feel. Okay. <laughs> okay, there we go, there we go. It's an airsoft gun, but I guess it's a very sturdy airsoft gun. It's stamped, um, sh uh, stamped steel receiver, so like the real thing, kinda. No, but honestly, I think I prefer the shorter one. I do, me too. I already played one game with the shorter one and it was very nice. Fuck! That was really bad. Oh, actually, it was pretty good. Here you can see the Perun X16. The module design that you already know in 300 blackout, but now also the bigger brother, Perun X17, which is chambered in 308. What's impressive is that despite the longer barrel and more beefy design, the weight difference is barely noticeable. So the MFT suppressors made in Slovenia from stainless steel and they have a flow through design. They attach the flash hider, their proprietary one, and essentially they create no visible muzzle flash 
and they create almost zero back pressure. Really cool design and works well with AR-15s and every other rifle. We're here at our friends, neighbors Croatians, Spartak, and they have a new chest rig. This is the Spartak modular chest rig. But unlike the, all the other modular gear, this thing really is modular. So you can have it loaded up in your backpack. You need it, you put it out, two clicks of the buckles, and you have a normal chest rig. You can pair this with Kammerbrands, similar to a plate carrier, or if you need it, you can actually turn it in a plate carrier because it has this pocket inside where you put plates in and it just works. So essentially, this thing can fit three magazines with different inserts. You have your place for uh, medical equipment, for tourniquet holder or extra ammo, whatever you need. You have an admin pouch and essentially this can be a micro chest rig. It can be a chest rig together with your backpack or you can turn it in almost a full-fledged plate carrier. So these are active hearing protection that you can use for shooting, for logging, for walking, working with uh, very loud machinery. But what's cool about them is that they have multiple features. So first one, you can connect to Bluetooth device. So for example, for my mobile phone, I can actually telephone and call people uh, while wearing these, but they also connect with each other. So same brand, they connect in a communication mesh. I put them on and I can speak with others with these headphones. That's really cool, especially for range work where you have multiple stages and you need people to work together. Chica, do I look good? Yeah, you look perfect. Let's see how many times Ian gets stopped for a picture. <laughs> 